First fish of the day, smallest kingfish I've ever caught. <laughs> that is a, I guess it's a king mackerel. He's got spots like a Spanish, but so do juvenile kings, I believe. There, Chris's first fish of the day. First of the day. Hello, YouTube. It's been a while. What a better time to do a video than driving home from the Gainesville, Florida VA hospital because of the fact that I had to do the pre-op, which is nothing but a bunch of questions and answers, because next Tuesday I'll be having this cataract removed out of this eye. I had to drive all the way two hours do the pre-op stuff with the anesthesiologist and all that. But that'll that'll be next Tuesday. So I'll be a pirate with a patch over the eye for a day or two. So I figured I'd do a video while I'm driving down the road all the way back to Jayville, Florida and go over some of the more popular questions and explaining at least the one that bothers me the most. How about that? Most popular questions I get on my YouTube channel lately. And after that, we're gonna do a little trivia question. Let's get right on into it. What is the most popular question and or the one that's been bothering me the most lately? And I mean, when I mean bothering me, it's, it's just that there's so many particulars and people think things are so cut and dry. It's just like fishing. Nothing's cut and dry in this world. Nothing. So, I'm getting a lot of questions of my video I did about going and getting the brand new 2020 250 Suzuki. Well, hey folks. Wiping the dirt off my brand new Suzuki 250. It always cracks me up. People go, how many hours you got on it? How many hours you had? How many hours did you have in your old engine? How many hours? How many hours? How many hours? I'm kind of like describing that the same way as one of the guys that I watch on YouTube, Scotty Kilmer. Scotty Kilmer talks about vehicles. He's a mechanic. And he says, when a car has, say, 100,000 miles on it, and if it was a city-driven taxi, let's say, with 100,000 miles, versus a traveling salesman in Texas, all right, doing city to city, town to town, out on the big desolate highways, doing 70 miles an hour, there is a huge difference. So they both can have 100,000 miles. So how does that equate to boat engines? If you're an offshore guy and you're running for hours and then you stop and you troll versus somebody like me, I run, I stop, I turn it off. I run, I stop, I turn it off. I run, I stop, I turn it off. What do you think is worse? Scotty Kilmer says that 100,000 miles or 10,000 miles, let's say, let's bring it down. 10,000 miles of city driving is like 100,000 miles of highway driving at a normal speed engine just going down the road. So really, it's not just the hours. What are the hours? What are the hours doing? Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. That's what I do. 
So talking about engine hours, that doesn't mean a whole lot compared to other, other types of usage. And the real reason I got rid of my old Suzuki 250, that was a 2014, I believe it was a 2014. And I got rid of it because it had an issue for what reason or another that one bank of the cylinders was cool, running at temperature, normal temperature. One bank of the cylinders was running hot. Don't know why, have no earthly idea. And it was making my average run temps higher. It was kind of averaging between the two. And I could see it getting worse. All right. And then a week before I basically went and got a new engine, I saw the temperatures running 175, 205, 210. That is that close, folks, to you getting it shutting down and going into like safe mode, you know, where it drops down to two cylinders or something. I never had that happen. And then I went and asked a local mechanic, well, what could it be? He says, well, you're getting some kind of exhaust blow by or something is getting into that into the water jacket, you might have a pinhole, you might have something, a gasket. We immediately, between let's say me and my dad were talking, we immediately said to ourselves, blown head gasket. That's very easily to happen. But the mechanic I talked to said, I, well, I asked him, can you, can you look at it? And everybody that I talked to, it was two, three weeks. Well, that was right in the beginning of the summer. On top of the global you-know-what going on, plus that, there's no way in God's green earth that I was going to park my boat for two to three weeks while somebody pulled the entire power head off and got up in there and looked because that's what I was told on my Suzuki they would have to do. Pull the power head off and get up in there and look. I don't know, I'm not a mechanic. I just seem to always seem to play one on YouTube. People ask me all kinds of technical questions. I have no earthly idea. What my entire channel, Captain Day Sport Fishing YouTube channel is about is you learning as I learn, as I document things, and I'm documenting this. Why do so many people think that engine hours mean everything? It doesn't mean shit. Are you gonna go buy a New York City taxi that's only got 20,000 miles? Or are you gonna go buy a luxury car that went on, you know, family vacations across the state for 10,000 miles or whatever, you know? That's the difference. And I never really mentioned why I went and got a new engine. I got a new engine because mine was gonna have to be set up for two to three weeks is what it basically boiled down to. I'm not gonna do that. It only had 30 days left of so-called warranty on it. And as I said in my other videos, the engine I have on there right now, four years from now, it'll be gone. I am not keeping any of these engines anymore. I'm going to make it a four, every four years. That's it. Now, for the trivia question. I did a video just a couple, just a couple videos ago where in the beginning of the video, I was panning the boat ramp as it was dark and then as the sun came up.
whistled a little tune in the very beginning of that video. And the little trivia question that I'm challenging you to answer in the, in the, in the comments below. It was a video about how crazy the boat ramp was on a Saturday morning. I mean, all of a sudden, there was nobody there. And all of a sudden, boom, there was people everywhere. It was a Saturday or a Sunday. We went out trolling, I believe it was, and caught some kingfish, a snapper, and a cobia. And in the morning, I whistled a little tune. Well, that little tune is from my favorite movie of all time. If you, if you heard that little whistle tune that I did, and you know what it is, put it in the comments below, if you remember. That'll be very interesting to see how, if anybody that watches any of my videos pays any attention to the details. Probably not, because you're watching them on these things. And this is, you hear half of what you listen to, and you see half of what you're actually looking at. Because you can't see detail, you can't hear detail, you can't do diddly squat on this. I watch YouTube on a, on a laptop that's connected to a big screen TV, 20 inch monitor, or on a Roku smart TV that's this big. That's how I watch videos because I don't want to miss the details. There you go. I have now, I believe, 72 hours. I believe I have 72 hours on my brand new 2020 Suzuki DF 250. I just ordered two gallons of oil, uh, two oil filters, two crush washers, because I'm already getting prepared for my 100 hour oil change. So that'll be its second oil change. I did a video about doing its first oil change. It was called Liquid Gold. Dump it in the liquid gold. There's a story about a man named Jed, poor mountaineer, barely kept his family fed. One day he was shooting at some food, and up from the ground come a bubbling crude. Liquid gold. Well, this will be the last one for a little while because next week I'm getting this eye fixed. I've been going along for about six months with the worst vision and I need to get my vision back A-OK. -okay. I'll talk at you later. Thanks for watching. So I'll see you on the next one.